What's up, Grunts? I'm Shadow Grunt Mike. Juice! And you know Juice Lit. And we are preparing for Kanto Cup. And this time around, we want to run Alolan Raticate. Yes, I think Alolan Raticate can have a place in the Kanto Cup meta for a few reasons. First of all, its stat product is really good. It's up there with Skarmory and Mantine in terms of tankiness. Um, it can definitely take a hit or two. Also, its charge moves are not bad. It knows Crunch and Hyper Fang. Crunch takes 14 turns to get to using Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang takes 16 turns to get to, and both those moves are fairly energy efficient. The main thing you have to look out for, of course, is fighters. And so you definitely want to have other Pokemon on the team that can handle um, counter users. So I tried Raticate in some Kanto Cup battles I did on stream, and um, I put Marowak in the lead to resist both the Charmers and the fighters. And then in case we run into a water type, we also have Venusaur who can counter the counter users and the Charmers. So here is a, a match I did on stream with this team. This one is going to be against um, Cat Clasher, and uh, we're gonna lead Marowak, and he's leading Venusaur. Okay, so we won the lead really hard here. Um, looks like he's gonna stay in, probably um, charge up a Frenzy Plant. Then he's switching into a, didn't catch it, but we're gonna throw um, a Bone Claw at whatever it is. It's a Blastoise. Okay, great. So we have a Venusaur um, who can hard counter this. Um, this is a great matchup for us, and we'll just need to um, shield the Ice Beam if he tries to throw one. But let's see if he lets through the Frenzy. Okay, he doesn't let it through. So, um, yeah, he'll probably try to uh, pull off an Ice Beam, so definitely gonna shield. And uh, from here, uh, we might be able to farm, but I'm not gonna take that chance, because I don't know the move counts um, for Blastoise. So let's just uh, rip off the um, rip off the uh, Frenzy Plant. I probably could have farmed one or two more moves, just that, uh, so that this Marowak didn't have as much to farm. Um, but that's okay, we're gonna throw the Frenzy Plant here. It's Both moves are resisted, so we're just gonna throw the more energy efficient one. Yeah, that farm down was bad. But we've got Raticate now, and we wanna save our Marowak for their Venusaur. Um, so we were pretty much okay here. Um, we can tank on um, the uh, ghost moves, but I was afraid that was gonna be a fire blast, so I shielded it. He switches into Venusaur and I send out the Marowak. So Marowak definitely doesn't need the shields here. Both of these moves will be resisted. Um, and we're just going to, um, I think I pulled off a bone club here, but I should have actually pulled off a shadow bone just in case they don't shield it and he doesn't shield it. So I should have pulled off the shadow bone for sure. And now I have to eat another move. I hope this this doesn't KO. Okay, doesn't KO, but it got really, really close. Oh, okay, he doesn't have any more shields anyway, so I definitely should have thrown the Shadow Bone there. Um, so th there, co there goes the Marowak, out comes our um, Raticate, and we should be fine here. This Crunch would one hit KO. No, okay, um, not KO, but we're okay here. As long as this is not a Fire Blast, then there's no way that this uh, guy can catch up here, but it is a Fire Blast. <laughs> And it almost catches up, but um, Raticate is able to quick attack down. So yeah, you don't see that every day. Quick attack downing a um, Marowak. So good game there. I won the lead really hard, um, but he almost caught up with the Fire Blast. So that was um, pretty juicy. So another team you can use uh, with Raticate is Venusaur in the lead, again, to resist the fighters and charmers, and then Seeking in the middle, um, in case you run into a fire type. And Seeking has game against the charmers because it knows poison jab. Let's see how this team works out in a couple of these um, battles. So this first one is against um, another content creator, Generation. Be sure to check out his channel. He leads Blastoise, so we definitely won the lead here. It's great. He switches out into a Shadow Venusaur. I don't really have anything for the Shadow Venusaur, so I throw out the, um, the Sea King, but this is actually not um, a great matchup for us. And the more I think about it, it's really bad because we're getting um, super effective damage here, and we're only dealing neutral with the Poison Jab. The Icy Wind is super effective, but um, we're not as, able to spam it as fast as um, they can spam the Frenzy. So this is definitely a bad matchup. We're just going to let this um, go. We've now lost um, the switch advantage. So we're going to send in Raticate so that we can save the... Um, we can save the Venusaur for the Blastoise. Eradicate's just gonna have to tank whatever this is. 
Okay, Frenzy Plant. Okay, that was okay. Um, the Venusaur did get Icy Winded once, so um, the attack is lowered. We're gonna throw off the Crunch now. I don't know if he's gonna shield this or not. I, I don't think so. Okay, so he lets go um, of the Venusaur, sends in the Blast Loads, which makes sense. Um, he's now avoided the matchup with the Venusaur. I'm gonna throw a Hyper Fang. I don't know how much this will do, but I know Blast Loads is very tanky. Yeah, so didn't do that much. Let's just switch into the Venusaur and hope that this works out. Out comes a Charizard. So yeah, we were not um, going to win that even if we didn't switch in the Venusaur. So GG's here against um, Generation. Um, really good uh, switch on the Shadow Venusaur. We did not have an answer to that. And so for that reason... Sea King is not a perfect um, backup for Venusaur, um, but um, yeah. This Sludge Bomb, could could it one hit KO? No, okay. Close though, but the Charizard is able to um, get off the move here. There's no way Raticate can quick attack down um, the Charizard. Um, and so, yeah, we're just gonna go down here. And there's still plenty of Blastoise in the back there. So GG's generation, um, good job uh, coming back from losing the lead. This next battle is against another content creator, Pogo Science. He sends in a Graveler. Okay, so he lost the lead really hard here. Um, he's gonna switch into a Chansey. So we're gonna switch into Raticate. I'm not sure how this matchup goes. Um, but I definitely want to save the Venusaur uh, for the um, Graveler, because that way we'll resist the Vol Switch and we'll do super effective with the Vine Whip. So, wow, that did like nothing, and that was uh, my stronger move. So this is going to take a while. <laughs> Um, let's go with another Hyper Fang. I could get hit with Hyper Beam, so I am a little bit scared of the Chansey. I don't know how much Hyper Beam uh, would do on the Raticate. I'll shield just in case, because I definitely want to make sure I maintain um, Switch Advantage here. Um, and so it was just a, um, a Psychic move, uh, which we would have double resisted, so that's a shame. So we're just going to keep going Hyper Fang here, um, and uh, hope that we can... Okay, he switches into the Graveler, so we go back into the Venusaur. Yeah, this is a tough um game for pogo science because we won the lead and i think we won the counter um lead there so yeah the um the uh graveler's in trouble we're gonna let this through because how much could it possibly do right and then it's a stone edge which almost ko's me huge mistake on my part um because now if he shields this he's gonna be able to just um fast move down okay great i mean not great so he shields that and uh now we have to go radicate and we're definitely gonna shield it because I don't want to take another Stone Edge. Um, but this time it's just the Rock Blast. So uh, good moves there, Pogo Science. We're gonna go for the Crunch here and uh, hope that Raticate can take out the rest of this um, Graveler. We can, okay, great. Out comes a Muck. Okay, so this is not bad for the Raticate because uh, we'll resist the we'll resist the um, Dark Pulse and the Snarl. And uh, we get to pull off a Hyper Fang here. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we can do as much damage as we can. The Sea King is gonna have to come in and, I don't know, farm this thing down or definitely at least, um, eat one move from the Muck. So, not sure if Sea King is up for this. Um, let's see, um, what, see how much Sea King, um can tank here. Here's one Dark Pulse. Okay, puts me in the yellow. The he switches quickly into the Chansey. I just pull off the um, Icy Wind. I'm not sure what's the right thing to do, but now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can um, quick attack down. Okay, so Chansey's got a move of its own. Can we tank this? Psychic, yes we can. Oh my god, that really didn't do much at all. So we're hoping we can um, uh, farm down and then, uh, okay, we just make it. And can we throw? Yes, we can. All right, so um, we just won that. I don't know if the Muck was um, coming up on another move there, but that was very close either way. We could have even gotten Snarled down. So good game there, Pogo Science. So yeah, I think Raticate actually has some play in um, in Kanto Cup. What do you guys think? Hope you had fun watching this video. Um, if you did, please give this a like and uh, say hi in the comments. And subscribe if you want to catch me live. All right, guys. Peace.